Hey there folks, today we're going to talk about waiving the inspection when buying a house. You'll have some people tell you that's a great way to win a contract. You'll have some people tell you it's not. I'm going to talk about the pros, well not really pros, I'm going to talk mostly about the cons of waiving the inspection and what that means for you as a buyer and what that means for you as a seller. They open you up to a lot of risk. That's one reason why I don't like having my clients do it. I don't think it's a safe way to win a contract. There's other ways that you can go in and do it. The inspection period is there in order for you to look at the house and say, yeah, initially I like the house. Now let's really check it out and look at everything involved with the house to make sure I really want the house long term. Because guess what? Houses can be expensive. And if they're a bad house, it can be even more expensive. You're going to buy a house. I don't recommend using the inspection waiver addendum or putting that in the contract in any way, shape, or form because it really opens you up to a lot of risk as a buyer because you're not fully checking out the house to see what is right and wrong. And I get that it's a tight market, but there's other ways to do that. There's other ways to win and still give the seller what they need. Now as a seller, it opens you up to some risk as well because the buyer's gonna come in and expect that you've given them all the information they need to move forward with the house. And let's say you forgot something and they can see that their repair has been made or you said something but you didn't go into enough detail on it. They're taking everything that you say as a full check saying this is everything that's going right and wrong with the property. And I don't know about you, but I don't remember everything that goes right and wrong with my property. We have a, a list that we keep, but not everything probably gets put on there. You wouldn't go look at a dating profile on Match or whatever site you want to go to and go, that looks like a winner. I should probably just marry that one. Let's skip the courting period. We don't need to go on dates. Let's just get married. Love the profile. Let's get married. We wouldn't go to a used car lot and say, oh, I love that car. <laughs> There's no way I need to test drive it in order to buy it. I'm just going to give you a bunch of money and assume that you've told me everything about that car that I need to know. There's a reason why we have that inspection period for cars, for people we marry, and for homes. You gotta see if there's some sort of crazy. If the alignment's slightly off, if something is wrong with the situation and you don't want long term, that's what the inspection period is for. Take advantage of it. Make sure the buyer takes advantage of it. Now, what you do wanna do as a buyer to help you win in those situations is say, we will ask for zero th repairs. Zero dollars, zero repairs. That will give the seller the same financial outcome in the end without the risk. It also allows you to get in there and have some professionals come through and figure out what is right and wrong with the house. Because if there is something majorly wrong, you'd want to know. Otherwise, it's going to cost you thousands down the road. Don't give up your option. Save some money by having an inspection. I'm Joshua Smith, Mr. TCOB, coming to you, giving you real estate news, ins and outs, things you should know, taking care of business for you. If you guys have any questions, give me a call, shoot me a text, drop a comment, and if you guys found anything in this video helpful or useful, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.